In the global history of the endeavours of science and technology, India has played a pivotal role for 5,000 years across science, technology, engineering, mathematics and medicine. India has continued to contribute extraordinary ideas and innovations that have changed the world in which we live today. Not just within India, but through India's contact with other civilizations, the ideas that it contributed had spread throughout the world. We've chosen to look at those through the lenses of observation, calculation and innovation to see how those ideas have laid the foundation for so much of what we have in science and technology today. Observation underpins all aspects of scientific endeavour. It's the starting point from which we begin to make sense of the world around us. In observing the cosmos and in observing the Earth around us, India has made some of its most significant contributions. 1,500 years ago, India began to use what are called panchanga, a kind of horoscope. Now, while we don't think of this as at all scientific, in fact, it belongs to astrology, nevertheless, it has certain basic principles in common with astronomy as the science we know today. In order to make these predictions, they gathered huge amounts of observational data about the movements of the stars and planets and used the mathematical tools available at the time to predict how those movements would unfold in the future. This, fundamentally, is science. Whatever the outcome for which it was used, at the heart of what was being done was observing the world around us and gathering data to understand it better. What may have been thousands of years now, astrolabes have been one of the most important tools in timekeeping and navigation. Possibly originating in Greece and passing to India through the Middle East, these incredibly intricately designed devices could help the user tell where in the world they were, what their position and direction was relative to another star, and what time of day or night it was. India became one of the centres for the manufacture of astrolabes, producing some of the finest examples known anywhere in the world. From their first attempt to reach Mars in 2013, India has successfully proven it's one of the major players in space exploration today. On board was the Mars Colour Camera, used to complete India's first homegrown full colour atlas of the Martian surface. It's not just in the technologies and the missions that India is contributing to space exploration. Its Mangalyaan-1 mission to Mars cost only £50 million, a fraction of what it would normally cost to undertake interplanetary exploration. In this way, India is showing the world around us how we can explore more and further for less. Medicine is one of the areas in which India has also made significant contributions for over two and a half thousand years. These contributions have come in the form of ideas, techniques of medical practice, and more recently, significant innovations. The oldest medical text from India is called the Sushruta Sanghita, and in it it describes how to practice diagnosis, pathology, pharmacology, and even surgery of the nose. In fact, surgery is one of the strongest areas of the text and 101 different kinds of surgical instrument are described. These are used for all manner of different purposes and the design is based on the observation of the natural world and apply them in the tools they themselves were using. This was a really landmark moment in the history of surgery. The Jaipur foot was developed in India in the 1960s as a low-cost alternative to expensive and heavy Western prosthetic limbs. It used such simple materials as wood, rubber and plastic, designed to give maximum flexibility and support. The Jaipur foot, when worn, can be used to sit cross-legged, to ride a bike, climb a tree, even to perform the complex moves of classical Bharatanatyam dancing. It's an incredible invention which has changed over one and a half million lives worldwide because they are provided freely to all those in need. The Embrace Warmer was developed to try and address the problem of the high rate of mortality among prematurely born children, particularly in rural areas. The focus was on to find a way to come up with something that was cost effective and accessible to all. A typical incubator costs around £20,000 and requires access to constant electricity. The Embrace Warmer, on the other hand, is charged by battery, has heating elements that keep the baby exactly the temperature it needs to be, and is mobile, allowing the mother to be with her child. 
This is another fantastic example of India contributing to low-cost technological innovation and in a way that is transforming hundreds of thousands of lives the world over today. Calculation is one of the areas in which India has made some of the most significant contributions. Mathematics underpins everything from IT to architecture, and it's in mathematics that India has one of its most prestigious histories. 5,000 years ago, standardized weights and measures were introduced into India 5,000 years ago. They were essential for planning out the huge cities with their large populations and complex water management systems. Trade was a central part of India's role in the ancient world. And indeed, further mathematical concepts were developed there that would advance that even more. In the Bakshali manuscript, we see the earliest example of a written zero numeral. This is extraordinary for a number of reasons. Not only is it the birth of our numerals that we are familiar with today, it's also the beginning of the concept of zero as a number in its own right, without which it would be impossible to do a lot of the calculations that underpin our day-to-day -day needs, let alone some of the most advanced mathematical concepts that are explored by mathematicians today. This story continues into the 20th century with Srinivasa Ramanujan. A self-taught mathematician from humble origins in the south of India, in his short life he made extraordinary contributions to the field of mathematics. Just as Indian mathematicians before him had given us new concepts of zero and infinity, so Ramanujan fundamentally changed our understanding of numbers and their relationships to one another. His legacy continues to transform mathematics today, as has so many of India's contributions to mathematics. The story of India's contribution to science and technology isn't just in the past, but also in our future. The CEOs of so many of the world's major IT companies today are born and educated in India. Through collaborations such as with the Novasar satellite, India is contributing significantly to our future in space exploration, in the availability of satellite technologies, and in the way in which they help us understand, better monitor and care for the world around us. Through exchange, through endeavour and through exploration, India has and continues to transform the landscape of science and technology in the world around us, today and tomorrow.